It's Friday then. It's Saturday, Sunday. What? It's Friday then. Saturday, Sunday. What? Yeah, it's okay. What's up? This is Jeff. Welcome to Jeff's podcast. Today, we're talking about the Toyota Gio Corolla, and Toyota announced last March 21st that the Japanese automaker is going to launch a new Gio model. I already watched the episode of Donut Media's Up to Speed about the Toyota Corolla and the Gusso Racing or GR. The Donut staff is already edited photos before the unveiling of the GR Corolla. Also, car photographer Larry Chen is having a mall drifting together with G Ready GR Supply Driver Ken Gucci, Walker Energy GR Supply Driver Frederick Asbo, and Jordan Metal Dome GR86 Driver Jonathan Castro from Formula Drift. Where they featured in the television commercial, including the teaser of the upcoming next GI model. You can check out the videos on the Up to Speed segment on the official YouTube channel of Donut Media and Larry Chen Photo on YouTube. Toyota has built a performance and motorsport division called Gazoo Racing, and the company has joined the list of tuning companies such as TRD or Toyota Racing Development and Toms or the Tachi Oiwa Motorsport. Where they are involved in motorsport activities and customized parts for Toyota vehicles, along with Lexus and Daihatsu. The Japanese automaker launched the Gazoo Racing Division and focuses on motorsport activities from around the world, such as the World Rally Championship, the Dakar Rally, and the 24 Hour of Le Mans. They built custom performance vehicles from GR, such as the BIOS GR Sport, the Hilux GR Sport, and the Fortuner GR Sport. As well as the Land Cruiser GI Sport and the Copen GI Sport. Copen is a mini convertible from Daihatsu. They also build sports cars such as the GI Yaris, which is a performance-oriented subcompact hatchback. The GI Supra is a sports car grand touring, and the latest is the GI 86, which is the second generation of the legendary 86. But there's one vehicle that they're going to build on, and the next one to be built is the Toyota Corolla. Presenting the Toyota GR Corolla, it's not your ordinary hot hatch. It's a high-performance hot hatch variant of the 12th generation Corolla. Of course, they have the Corolla sedan here in the Philippines under the Corolla Altis model, but this one is different. The car can be used for the North American market since the GR Yaris is expected to hit the shelves in the U.S., but it's not available to buy here due to stringent homologation processes, despite requests from the fans and journalists. So, what is the GR Corolla? It is a vehicle used for the North American market. The GR Yaris can be sold in other countries, mostly in Europe and other markets, including Japan and the Philippines. For those who know about the facts of the GR Corolla, I'm going to give the list of features about the hot hatch, and they'll be going to face against the likes of the Hyundai i30N, the Volkswagen Golf GTI, and the Civic Type R. The Toyota GR Corolla is powered by a 1.6-liter three-cylinder intercooler turbo engine, where the engine is similar to the GR Yaris, made in a six-speed manual transmission, produces 300 horsepower at 6,000 RPM, and 370 Nm of torque at 3,000 to 5,500 RPM. The car has a GR4 all-wheel drive system that uses an electronic multi-plate clutch to provide variable front and rear driving force. There are two modes. The drive mode controls accelerator response, steering, and others, which have been separated to enable selection according to driver's preference and the driving environment. And the four-wheel drive mode controls driving force distribution. A post caliper disc brakes provide stable braking force and controllability, enabling confident and enjoyable driving, even on racing circuits. Just like when you drive the legendary Celica GT4 vehicle. It also has the front and rear torsion LSD or limited slip differential. To provide enhanced cornering, this replaces the standard four-wheel drive open differential that's fitted on the hot hatch. The car has an advanced drive assistance system using the Toyota Safety Sense 3.0 that comes standard, allowing the combination of safety and security in daily driving and the driving pressure of a sports car. And updated audio multimedia system, since they use the third-generation Toyota Tundra, the audio multimedia system includes an 8-inch touchscreen with voice control. Which is compatible with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, an 8-speaker JBL sound system, and a wireless charging pad. On the steering wheel, it has a three-spoke wheel, 12.3-inch fully digital instrument panel with a GR leader, leather-suede sports seats with red stitching, 
GR Bath headrest, aluminum sports pedal, and lighted footwells. The GR engine start-stop button is also included if you are ready to take the wheel. The Toyota GR Corolla is available as a core edition model which hits the shelves this fall in the US, followed by other countries including Japan and Australia depending if they have demand and bring the vehicle in other countries including the Philippines. But there's a catch. There's also a second edition model which is the limited edition model and it comes with a forged carbon sheet molding compound in the car's roof. This variant is lightweight, highly rigid material, keeps off the answers that a steel roof would bring and helps lower the car's center of gravity. And other extras including the shift knob signed by the company's president himself. The price for the GL Corolla may cost about $40,000 for the core edition variant, but additional $5,000 for the second edition variant. For speed times, it can go from 0 to 60 in under 5 to 6 seconds. Since the i30N recorded in 5.8 seconds, the Civic Type R in 5.15 seconds, and the Golf GTI is at 5.1 seconds, but only time will tell. What do you think about the GR Corolla? Will this vehicle can smack and meet the with Smith Proud? Let us know in the comments. If you have comments or suggestions, let us know in the comments. Follow Jeff11 Manchester on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and subscribe to youtube.com slash capable. But that's about it for Jeff's podcast. This is Jeff. We'll see you in the next podcast.